hi welcome back to another episode of life is strange before the storm at the very beginning i would like to encourage new people to leave a like or comment as well as subscribe to my channel if the content i offer suits you well of course uh, to all my subscribers i thank you very much for your kindness in comments for all your great support that you are showing to me i hope you like my content and i will uh, try to do my best to put as many as i can and as often as i can so yeah thank you very much one more time and yeah let's just start this game uh, we are continuing with second episode of before the storm so let's go all right already trouble Rachel, all right. Miss Price, how good of you to join us. I'm so sorry we're late. My my shift ran late at the diner and then just sorry. Let us proceed. One of you here is new to the Blackwell disciplinary process. And the other is all too familiar with it. Blackwell's code of conduct is built upon a foundation of mutual respect meant to foster an environment conducive to education and enrichment. When that respect okay. was violated... Reality check time. Yesterday did actually happen. I ditched school with Rachel Amber, and then Rachel really did start that fire. And that was after we actually agreed to run away from here. Right? Are you paying attention to me, Chloe? Um, what? Miss Price, the last time we met, an agreement was brokered. Do you recall what that was? Are you asking, or is that rhetorical? Disrespectfulness. We agreed that you would rededicate yourself to becoming an exemplary Blackwell citizen. We did? In the event that you were unable or unwilling to do so, we also agreed that it would become pertinent to reassess your future status at the Academy. Despite all this, you engaged in the following actions yesterday. Insubordinate language. Disregarding posted signs about trespassing on the stage. Implications of possible drug-related activities. What does that mean? Yes, what does that mean? It means Miss Price has developed a reputation as a user of marijuana. And I would strongly recommend you take a careful look through her room at home. Shall I continue? Of course. Witnesses saying you were involved in bullying Nathan Prescott. The hell I was. I stood up for that little weirdo. I suppose that's one interpretation of events. Say what you will about my daughter, but she is not a bully. Maybe you should be talking to Drew instead of me. You know, the guy who actually did what you're accusing me of. Mr. North's situation requires sensitivity. It will be handled separately. And Chloe's situation is less sensitive? I do not discuss other students' situations. We are here to discuss your daughter and her actions. Convenient. <laughs> Mom, you know this is all bullshit, right? I'm beginning to suspect that myself. I am sorry you feel that way, but your daughter's misbehavior is real and serious. And yet, right. even with your prodigious disciplinary record, Miss Price, we needn't discuss any of it. We needn't? No, because you severed your relationship with Blackwell the minute you left school grounds without permission. What does that mean? It means... You forced my hand. 
This is a consequence of your actions, Chloe. I have no choice I but to... I made her do it. What? 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 Yesterday was all me. My idea. I was having a bad day. I needed to blow off some steam, and I took it too far. Chloe tried to talk me out of it. I've been down that road, she told me. You're better than this. But I wouldn't listen. See, what an actress. <laughs> Chloe was afraid I'd get in trouble or hurt, so she came with me. But only to keep me safe. I'm just sorry you got caught up in it, Chloe. That you allowed me to drag you down to my level. Can you forgive me? Of course. Yeah, sure. We're cool. Thank you. I'll make it up to you. I promise. Chloe, is this true? It's true. Totally not true. She really is an amazing actress. Exactly. Miss Price? Yeah. Mm. Bullshit. Complete and total bullshit. Chloe. You're an awesome actor, Rachel. You almost convinced me, and I know you're lying. But come on. Miss Price. Miss Amber. One of you girls better start telling me what actually happened. Now. Or what? It's fine. Really. You're right. The truth is, I didn't convince Chloe to ditch with me. I practically forced her to. <laughs> Come on. I was feeling angsty and reckless. Tired of living up to the perfect image everybody expects out of me. I told Chloe if she didn't come with me, I might do something crazy. Like what? Graffiti, steal alcohol, maybe even abuse marijuana. I didn't, thank God. But that's only because Chloe was there. She looked out for me, even after I threatened her. I told her I would blame her for everything if she didn't come along. I knew it would be easy, given all of the prejudices against her. Uh, now... This is some serious... Chloe, I told her. If you get blamed for this, you will be in serious trouble. Serious trouble. Whereas I, having a perfect record at Blackwell, will not. Think about it, I told her. And don't do anything you'll regret. Anyway, that's what really happened. Oh, Rachel. <clears throat> I'm glad we have finally gotten to the bottom of this matter. Though the revelation brings me no pleasure. Miss Amber, I am disappointed in you. I understand. This being your first infraction in no way reduces its severity. Still, we will not be suspending you at this time. But you have squandered our trust. You will no longer be my administrative assistant first period. And you will no longer be involved in Blackwell's performance of The Tempest. No. <sighs> will we let her do that? What? Are you insane? Your discipline is still pending, Miss Price. Ray, she loves that show. Since this is her first infraction, don't Mr. You think, Amber, uh... I don't tell you how to run the district attorney's office. Please don't tell me how to run my school. There's a reason we have understudies for all circumstances, accidental and deliberate. I'm sure your understudy. Victoria Chase. Yes. I'm sure Victoria Chase will do fine. That is such... What was that, Miss Price? I will tell is you upset what. upset for her friend, but we are both grateful that she is not going to be unduly blamed for what happened. There is plenty of blame to go around. Chloe's future at Blackwell will be discussed next, unless you had something to add first, Miss Price. Yes, I have. I will take the blame. That's a bullshit. No way is Rachel missing the play for me. But thanks to her acting skills, I'll have to go down in flames if I want to fix this. Oh, 
Let's go. Get your head out of your ass, Wells. Chloe, <laughs> you seriously think yesterday was a little Miss Sunshine's idea? Miss Amber has accepted her responsibility. Accept reality. Don't right. you have the slightest idea how this works? You don't wake up one morning and decide to be an outlaw. You need priors. You need training. Rachel confessed. Are you calling her a liar? No, but she... She acts perfectly. I confess she can act. Yes. I confess to thinking she can act like a motherfucker. You just bought her crap. Hook, line, and sinker. You don't have to do this. It's okay. Really. You don't tell me what to do. Don't tell me what to do. I'm not one of your sycophants. I'm a lone wolf, and you're a little red riding hood. Welcome to grandmother's house, bitch. <laughs> Shit. Chloe, this can't be you. Apologize this instant. That is crazy. Apologize. Uh, sorry. Fine. Mr. Wells, I'm sorry for exposing the flaws in your campus security. This must be very embarrassing for you. I've heard enough. Rachel, you were clearly trying to cover for your classmate. I appreciate the motive, but I appreciate honesty more. Is that understood? Yes, sir. You will not be removed from the play. Was that so hard? Thank you. And Miss Price. I came into today's meeting planning to suspend you for the rest of the school year with a chance for reinstatement in the fall. Yeehaw! And now? You are expelled. Finally. What? No. Sayonara. I will have to skip Matthews escort you to clean out your locker. You may wait outside my office until he arrives. That is all. Good day, Mrs. Price. Mr. and Mrs. Amber. Ray. Yes, cool bullshit, Come blah, on, blah, blah. Chloe. I'm sorry. Nothing to be sorry about. Meet me at the junkyard later? You bet. I didn't get the chance to introduce myself. I'm Joyce. Mrs. Price. I'm Rose. This is James. I'm sorry we had to meet like this. No, I'm sorry. I'm sure for you this is an unusual circumstance. We really should be going. Nice to meet you. Mom, I... I'll see you in the parking lot. <sighs> hey, Chloe. I'm supposed to walk you out. Just you and me, eh, hey, Skip? Fuck them. <clears throat> Bunch of fascists. Hey, uh... Just wanted to say... It sucks what is happening to you. Thanks, Skip. You're gonna be missed. I don't really care about any of this shit. Except my secret stash. Might as well grab my emergency joint while I'm here. And a photo of a cat. <laughs> Take that. And trash. Let's take that one. Trash. Ugh. Trash. Geometry. What? Who need that? Jesus. English. Like, should... 
she's not speaking English. Oh, crazy. All right. What else? Pencil. Trusty keeper of what my can graffiti I do with pens. that? All oh, right. Yeah. Leave that. Sign inside. Yeah. Why not? Chloe was here. Price ten. Retrieve. Secret stash. What the hell? Jackpot. Wait. What the hell? Damn it, Justin. <laughs> nice. Somebody took your joint. Fuck every inch of this place. I wish I could tag it from floor to ceiling. But with Skip watching me. Uh, bathroom. Then I'm out. Cool? <sighs> okay. But try to make it fast, will you? Jesus, what's the problem? Make it fast? No one asked me for dances because I only know how to fly I always sit like I'm drowning, dead arms around him I'd rather stand still, hold tightly to the walls No, no care, no care Much better. It's not that boring anymore. Cool. <laughs> oh shit. Yeah. What the? Chewbacca? What is that? <laughs> Later, Skip. Later. See you later, alligator. All right, David is waiting with mother. Looks like David's here. Rachel. Close that meeting. How sucked. You are. No, you are. It's okay. Yes, so there was water. Yeah, of course. Awesome. Right. That's awesome. Let's do some graffiti shit. Right now, first one in this hmm. episode. What could the Tempest use more of? Hmm. Of anarchy, of course. All that's left is to get arrested. Stage handwriting. Trophy urn. Cool. All right. That shit. What? Let's. What is that? Max would have loved this shit. Visual. Da -da -da -da. Okay. Yeah. Let's go to those two. It's about damn time. David, please. Chloe, your mother and I have been talking. Wow, that's awesome. I don't care. I know, 
That's what we need to talk about. I don't need a conversation. Not with Sergeant Asshat here. I just need some space. Do not use that language with your mother. If my mother has something to say, she will say it to me. She has. The problem is, you don't listen. Maybe if you try listening to me, instead of fighting me about everything, you might actually learn a thing or two. What? How to be a soldier? Soldiers put family and future above self and now. Getting kicked out of school? That's what losers do. You had a scholarship, Chloe. Do you know what that means? What kind of opportunity you gave up? Do you want to work at the diner? Yeah, nothing's wrong with that. Or, yeah, someone needed my help. Someone needed my help. Who? Your friend Rachel? Because I think the daughter of the DA is going to be just fine. I need your help. Me, your mother. We need to get our own house in order. Right now, what I need most of all is for the two of you to start getting along. Chloe, I care about Joyce very much. I'm willing to forgive you for the incident yesterday. If you improve your attitude going forward. Incident? What incident? Chloe was incredibly out of line. She insulted me. Swore at me. But with an apology, I'm willing to start over. Sure. Sure. Reset button pressed. I am glad to hear it. From now on, I will be assisting your mother in a few areas. Like making sure that you are no longer abusing drugs or alcohol. Mom. Chloe, I'd like you to empty your pockets and place all your belongings on the trunk of the car. What the fuck? If we are going to start over, we have to know that you are not abusing drugs. If you're not, you should be eager for the chance to prove it. Mom, I don't need more discipline from you. I need my mom. I know, Chloe, and I'm sorry, but David feels... Joyce. We feel this is the best way to start fresh. Let's go, Chloe. Quit stalling. Hmm. Comply or refuse. Let's... Let's comply. Fine. You want to see my shit so badly? The horror. Happy? It's marijuana, all right. No, Chloe, I am not happy. But I am relieved that you came clean. I hope this can be the beginning of a new chapter for us. A new chapter. One that will involve the three of us together. Well what does that mean? We both agree that the best thing for everyone at this stage is for me to move in. No fucking way! Chloe, after everything that's happened, I'm at a loss. I need help. Exactly. We need a firmer hand steering this ship. Talk to me, Chloe. Tell me what you're feeling. Mom. 
Mom, I... I, I know I fucked up. I, I'm a fuck up. I'm sorry. Are you sorry? You don't even know what you're apologizing for. I've been shutting you out even though I've needed you and you need me and I know that. But this is not the answer. It's the only answer I have, Chloe. In a million years, I never thought you'd choose David over me. I'm sorry I took that for granted. I'm not choosing anyone over anyone else. It's about the three of us having a home together. It'll be better than you think, Chloe. Once everything's running smoothly, you'll see what a stable home can be like. There was a stable home before William died. Yeah, who knows? Yeah, come on, get in. Hey! Oh, I don't know. There is no home. Not if he's there. Chloe. Let her go. She'll come home as soon as her tantrum is over. How do you know which way is up when your whole life has been turned upside down? Blackwell's done with me. I can't go home anymore. So let's make a home right here. Is this junkyard all I've got left? Seems like it, yeah. And this forest is still burning there? Jesus. Looks like a perfect car for you. Ugh. Butter is dead, for sure. Yep. You can throw it away. This thing is a mess. But maybe I can fix it. If right. this beast will ever run again, the first thing it needs is a new battery. Wonder if I can find one around here. Okay. Where can we find new battery? And another car, right? There is plenty of cars. First, let's try to climb on that boat to get a graffiti. Oh my god. Oh Jesus. Damn, you cigarettes. <laughs> yeah, you should stop smoking. If this is because you cannot climb on that boat, then yeah. Alright, 
right, and we have a stairs. Cool. Let's climb now. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Yep. You did it. Yeah, there's still a fire. God damn it. Shit. That looks crazy. Get battery, put in truck, no way. Right, so we have a hood and this hood is our graffiti option. What do I want to tell my fellow sailors of the seven trash heaps? Huh. A buried treasure. Yeah, let's Got it. do that. Let's see. Alright. Yeah, good luck everyone. I can climb that? Why? No, I I need to go down. I need to find this battery now. Um Yes. And uh, a pirate, a pirate flag? Wonder if there's treasure buried nearby. <laughs> oh, a radio? What is that? A small one? And up next, a local band called Pisshead is blowing mines and speakers throughout the bay. Here's their new single, Nothing Wrong. What else? Nothing else here? Hmm. What's that? Something. Not that important, I guess. There's got to be a battery under one of these car hoods. Uh, Sell fun and games to this Robert. guy <laughs> enslaves everyone. No way. All right, so let's check that car. Or yeah, no, and this one. Not going over there. All right, so you don't wanna look at this hood. Uh, what? Shoebox? What's that? Oh. Come on, is Elvis? Yeah, let's take it. You will have it in your car. I remember that one. Yeah. Okay. What else? Mannequin hat doesn't matter. Um A beach towel? You're a long way from the beach. Huh. Oh, this white car looks promising. A light bulb? I always wanted a pet snake. Instead, I got David. Fuck everything. Yeah, well... Hood of that car? Oh, let's check that. Oh, this the one same. Won't work. Yes, definitely. All right, this looks uh, wow. God damn! Wow, <laughs> shitty ride, drug dealer. Really thought crime paid better. All right, so let's look over that hood. What are you trying to hide under there, hood? Oh, yeah, we need to open from ins uh, inside, yes. Hmm. 
like a battery and a good shape, right? Of course. Clean and everything. Nice. Here we go. The pick of the litter. Used to love opening up the diner with mom before oh. school. Two waves. I guess yes. those days are now officially over. Oh, we cannot go through here. All right. So we need to run back. Oh, so that was yeah, far away. Here you are, battery. Let's put it back. Right. Yes. Jesus. Look out. Get down. With a screwdriver, ha <laughs> ha! Come on! Damn! This thing needs more love than I can give right now. In the meantime, maybe I can spruce it up a bit. Spruce it up. What do we have here? Oh man. Probably a good idea to cover over this with something. Alright. There's a While hole. An escape hatch could be nice. I should probably cover over this massive hole. You probably should. Oh, sinking singing man, we already have that. Cool. Put this fellow here. You can hang here, but I get to pick the tunes. Okay? Good talk. Huh, of course. And a broken bulb. Maybe oh. there's another light bulb I can put in here. The red one that we saw? Perhaps. Alright. And that's it? Uh yes. And just leave. So we need few things. Hmm. Okay. Few Let's of see them what else I this trash heap has to think offer. I, I saw. So there was this pirate. Yes. We can take that one for the floor, I guess. This might make the perfect cover for that torn seat. Or torn seat, oh alright. Yeah, for this torn seat, there was also... Uh... Yeah, this. This towel. You're a long way from the beach. Oh, well we cannot take it, alright. A light bulb. You yeah. might not work. Then again, I hardly ever work. Or this floor, maybe this thing. Yeah, welcome. That's good. <laughs> Let's you take that. You should cover that life-endangering floor hole quite nicely. What else? I don't think there's anything else, right? That I could take.
syringe. No, I don't need that. Better head back to the truck. A sign? It's too big for a car, I guess. So let's go back to the car. So let's fix this light. Welcome in my car. Yeah, super cool. I fixed that. Yeah. This thing looks like a rusted out shopping cart. Probably drives like one too. That's if it ever does drive, which seems questionable. Still, how sweet would that be? Who's calling? Yeah? Frank, it's Frank. Oh, hey Frank, what's up? Yeah, just checking in to see how you're doing. Really? No, listen, we've got some business to discuss. Where can we meet? What about... Oh, like... Drugs? Price. I'm hanging out in the junkyard, north of town. The junkyard, that's great. Stay there, I'll see you soon. Okay. And, Frank? Yeah, uh... I'm not in trouble or anything. Right? I don't know. Did you do anything you should be in trouble for? <laughs> like, in general? Or to you? We'll see you soon. Yeah. Time, time for a hard-earned smoke break. All right, and another graffiti, number three. You only get one chance to make a first expression. Huh. Frightening. Yeah, let's let's go with that. What it will be? This will give intruders Fields something on wheels. to think about. Trophy earn. You are about to Technically, die? Technically, we're all about to die. Damn, if nice. You take a wide enough view of things. Singing man, hunk. Hunk, hunk. It's working. Whoops. Does Principal Wells eat pizza with a fork and knife? I knew there was something off about that guy. And smoking again? You should stop that. Chloe. You cannot even climb on a boat. That's a that's a good uh, 
moment to just finish this episode and continue in another one so thank you for staying with me i hope you you like it you find it helpful with all those collectibles optional graffitis uh, please leave some likes or comments let me know what you think about my recordings and my comments um, yes thank you for your for your support and i will see you in another episode